Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know, it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Intimidator Badge, the new and improved Intimidator Badge. Listen, I know I made the Cap the cap a lot Badge video yesterday that I made. Um, if I'm going to be capping throughout a video, you'll see the, the badge on the bottom right-hand corner. You'll see it get activated. So just to let you guys know, right off the bat, you'll know whether I'm capping or I'm telling a story that's all cap, whatever, you'll know. But um, today we're going to be talking about the Intimidator Badge. And it seems to have gotten this huge, I mean, gigantic buff. Uh, we've tested out this Intimidator badge on multiple occasions, putting it to Hall of Fame, dropping it down to bronze to see if there's any significant difference between badge levels. And prior to patch A, or even prior to this recent update, I know a lot of you guys got a recent update. There seems to be, there seems to have been a buff in the Intimidator badge. Not only that, a buff in contested shots. We've seen contested shots go in that should not be going in but currently you know up until yesterday i have my intimidator badge set to bronze now i i normally i'm a two-way slashing playmaker so i'm normally able to close out on these perimeter shots but the differences that we've noticed just to let you guys know th listen this channel is a, has a lot to do about badge content and how badges can help you guys out during our live streams we create a lot of dialogue. If you guys don't know, you may want to consider joining our live stream. During our live stream, we create a huge amount of dialogue. People coming in talking about badges and, you know, I respond and answer questions. And not only that, get a ton of feedback from you guys. You guys offer great feedback on your experience with these badges. But from what I noticed about the Intimidator badge in particular is that one, we have a center, Rain Dynasty. Shout out to Rain Dynasty. She's new at the center position, but she's been doing great an absolute goat at the center position and um her defensive awareness is amazing so could adding that type of iq with the intimidator badge because you can't just equip these badges and then you're going to turn into a goat there has to be a certain level of defensive iq out there defensive positioning proper defensive positioning is what you guys want to consider so Taking that into consideration, adding the Intimidator badge on top of that, Rain has been getting an absolute ton of stops in the paint. I mean, it's almost like nobody can go up on Rain, and that's why I wanted to bring you guys this information about the Intimidator badge because we had Rain. I, we were talking about badges and rearranging badges, so Rain attempted to unequip the Intimidator badge, lower it down maybe to bronze or something like that. If I'm, if I recall correctly, she lowered it down to bronze and man the difference was so significant and noticeable to our entire team we were running wreck i think if i believe if i remember correctly we were running um wreck dropped it down to bronze huge difference people were able to finish in the paint and it was just like man what's going on put the badge back up now rain is goaded again so the importance of the intimidator badge is extremely significant currently i don't know if that goes for every single build but for a seven foot glass cleaning lockdown it was definitely a significant uh difference and we all noticed it when we put the badge back up it was um nothing in the paint you know the paint was completely clamped up no matter if it was two centers anybody coming into the paint they were getting locked down so as far as the perimeter with Intimidator, it seems that 2K is attempting to dumb down the game. As I mentioned before, 2K is attempting to dumb down the game and offer these shooters at the perimeter a bit more um, success in completing their shots, even if they're contested. So I recommend as a perimeter defender that you may want to consider upping the Intimidator badge to kind of force those miss those miss uh, shots they'll still get the shot opportunity but you want to force the miss with your intimidator badge if you guys are out there and you have your intimidator badge set to bronze please we'd like to hear from you how are things going for you as a defender out there with the intimidator badge let us know what level you have it i'm thinking from my experience so far and we live we do this every day i'm thinking that the intimidator badge is a must-have currently although prior weeks and 
after this patch, after the last patch, patch eight, it didn't seem as significant. It seemed like almost the Intimidator badge was nerfed. But currently, I don't know what 2K did with the sliders or buffing the Intimidator badge without telling anybody. Currently, the Intimidator badge seems like a must have. So, hey, we just got to sub. I love it, man. Shout out to y'all, man. It's because of y'all that we're able to do this and speak about these badges, create dialogue. I highly encourage you guys to kind of leave me a comment. Hopefully, I'll get back to you. If not, I really read all comments so i highly encourage you guys to leave me a comment and let me know what you let me know your thoughts and your experience using the intimidator badge currently because in my opinion intimidator badge seems like a must-have and it seems just op right now overpowered exactly a overpowered badge right now that you guys may want to consider equipping i hope you guys found this video helpful uh, we're trying to hit a sub goal of 10,000 by the end of the year we're almost there. I think we're, we're under, I think we need less than 300 subs right now. So if you enjoyed this video or if you found the content helpful, useful, please consider subscribing to our channel. All right, guys, until next time. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of NBA 2K20 content coming your way. And if you want to stay connected with me and the All City Live TV community, then join us on Twitch and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Easy, y'all.